Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Adelina, and I make videos about living in that tiny house on wheels and living a more intentional life. We're in the van today, and it's just started raining outside, so hopefully there won't be any thunder um, and scary stuff. But today, I wanted to talk about lighting. Last Sunday, I went over some options for if your power goes down, if you are camping in a tent or a van. I don't have solar on the roof yet, so I rely on those uh, battery banks that I went over last week. Today I wanted to talk, sort of build on that and talk about lighting. I wanted to go over the lighting sources that I use inside the van, what I started with, what I'm wor working with now, um, and why I like them so much, and the applications that for them inside your house as well if your power goes down. So if that is of interest, stay watching. So last summer when I built out the van, I wanted something that was easy. I really didn't know what I needed in the van. I hadn't actually camped in it yet. So I just went and got some things um, that I thought would be useful. And both of them were battery powered. What I ended up with was buying this three pack. They came red, blue, blue, red, and green. Uh, these little battery operated lanterns from Outbound. I can you buy these at Canadian Tire and what's nice about these is they have little hooks so I can hang them from the ceiling um, I can hang them from here and obviously I can set them down they're actually pretty good they put out a fair amount of light they actually last a fairly long time with these batteries they do take they do take four AA batteries so that's a lot of batteries and they don't last forever and they're not rechargeable but they worked in the pinch and they did me well for last summer <laughs> sorry there's a train going by in the distance so i started with this three pack from canadian tire and this three pack was 21.99 so 22 dollars canadian all the prices are canadian um, and then i also picked up some of these these are magnetic and what i like about them is I'm not going to really stay on there uh, is that oh, a wasp just flew in there they have really strong lights they're actually uh, meant as I guess work lights could because you can stick them underneath your car or something like that they work really well because I could just put them on the roof or above the kitchen which is where I still have a couple of them just above the kitchen um, but again they take batteries these guys take triple a batteries um, I won't open it up because you have to unscrew them. The nice thing again is these ones also have a hook so you can hang them if you need to. Um, I do have one underneath my bed so if I want to access un something under there I can. I can see what I'm doing under there which is kind of nice. But again um, both of these are LED so that means that the batteries do last a lot longer than if they weren't but they're not rechargeable. Um, and these were $6.99 each, but they're pretty heavy duty. And like I say, they do last a long time. Um, and you can stick them pretty much anywhere if you have, if you're in basically in a tin can, which is what I am in this van. So I do actually still use these above my kitchen um, because they're, they give me some direct light on what I'm doing if I don't want to turn all my other lights on. And I'll keep one of these here as well. Uh, for when I'm brushing my teeth again if I don't want to turn all the lights on but the nice thing about these is they can also be hung from the ceiling if I want to but usually I just keep one here that's pretty much the only place I use these except sometimes if I'm reading a bed and I don't want the big lights on I will use one here I also have these I bought these at Ikea they were in the discount bin so I don't think you can get them again but any one of these will do they're little lanterns that you would put outside um, on your patio or something like that. They have three AA batteries in there and that's just atmosphere at night when I'm reading. So both of those served me well for the summer. But then I decided I needed something that was a little bit more sustainable, a little bit more environmentally friendly. I wasn't going through all these batteries um, and that I could recharge. So let me show you what I chose for this year. So then I bought a couple of these. I'd actually bought one of these. Let me turn them on. I'd actually bought one of these last year. Um, and they're called Onite. And they're LED bulbs, but they actually look, but they actually look like bulbs. Um, and I have two of them. One above the settee and one over here just above my bedside table. I like these because they are, they have little switches 
to turn on and off. And what I do is I just keep them both, I've threaded them through and I keep them both plugged into my Jackery here so that uh, I can turn them on and off for my bed. And I use these for fairly bright light. They, these push out a lot of light um, and they are, how much were they each? These were $15.99 each for one of these. Um, but they don't get warm because they're LED and they put out a lot of light. So I do like them, but they're, they can be a little harsh because they do put out a lot of light. But when you're trying to get something done, when you really want to light up your space, um, and I will show you what that looks like in a clip that I took when I was actually showing you how the window shades were working. Um, I'll show you how bright it gets in here, just using those and what I'm going to show you next. Next, I want to talk about these lights. Now I have this one, I have a couple of them that I actually put Velcro on, uh, but the others are magnetic. They just stick on magnetically. Um, and these are great. They're actually meant for, let me turn them on um, so you can see them. I like these because these are rechargeable. These are the Casonic rechargeable cabinet lights. They can be either motion, uh, sensor or you can you can work them with this remote control um, and they come in two packs and each two pack has a remote control but one remote control will work for all the lights because they're all the same I really like these because these are rechargeable and they charge up really quick so there's this little switch here that switches them for, from motion sensor to um, remote controlled and you can make them either uh, a cool light or a warm light and you can adjust the brightness. Um, these are really great little lights. They actually last a long time. Um, I've used them quite a bit um, and only one of them needs recharging. I got two, two packs, so I have four of them. One, uh, three going down here and one just above the door. I love the fact that they're rechargeable so I can recharge them in the house before I go somewhere and then I can recharge them with my battery bank. I'd probably use the Ninja Bat to recharge these. The two pack of these is $29.99, so $30 for uh, a two pack with the remote. And the fact that you can recharge them, I think this is a good deal. So I actually bought two two packs, so I have four of these in the van. Now, the next two lights that I have also came in a two pack, and they are also rechargeable. And I keep one here by my bed. Let me just flip you around so you can see this. So these little lights, I actually Velcroed this one on here are also touch lights and you can actually make them brighter or um, dimmer as well. They're LED and they're rechargeable. I like this because this is kind of like my, I hear a noise in the night light and I want to see what's going on. All I have to do is press it. Uh, that I really like. I also can use it, you know, to read and stuff. So I have one here. Um, and again, these recharge, they recharge really quickly and they give out a fair amount of light. Um, for what they are. Let me show you where the other one is. And of course now it's really starting to rain so I'll have to be quick. The other one of these I keep right here. It's for when I come in at night so I have some light to get in, in the door. This has got a magnetic little pad at the back so this just magnets on. It actually stays on there really well. I haven't had it fall off. I used tried one of the other puck lights it's there but it kept falling off so I actually really like this one. It's small it's not obvious and it gives me a lot of light when I want to come in the door. So <laughs> severe thunderstorm warning that just came over uh, the news. So I'm going to get inside before that happens. But I just wanted to say these are the lights I'm using right now. I really like them. They give a lot of light. Uh, the strip lights have the ability to dim. So do these puck lights. And they are, again, rechargeable, which is great. So I'm going to take them in the house and make sure they're recharged because I'm going next weekend to uh, my niece's wedding. And I'll be taking the van, staying in the van for that. So I just wanted to show you what I'm using right now, what I started with, what you can use, and really the fact that you don't have to spend a lot of money. Um, uh, the ones, the battery operated ones are great in a pinch and if that's all that you can afford then definitely go with that but I would argue that you end up spending as much if not more because you have to buy batteries um, and you're always having to carry them because you're not sure when they're gonna, the batteries are gonna run out and you don't want to be stuck. When you've got a rechargeable you can just recharge it whenever you need it especially if you, if you have one of those battery banks or you're plugged in somewhere. These 
are nice and heavy duty. Um, they've been working really well. They give off a lot of light and I think they're a good sustainable option for having light in your van or your house if the power goes out that you can actually use. Not something super dim that you can't actually work by or uh, that is gonna hurt your eyes. These ones are great. So I'll leave you with a little clip of when I opened up the van door to show you that how bright it was in here and how well those window shades were working because it will give you an idea of how bright it is in here. And all I had on were the four of these and these. I hope that was useful. Uh, again, it's the second in my series of videos about being uh, prepared in case you lose power um, or you lose services and also things that you can use when you're tenting or camping in your van or your camper. Things that are sustainable. The battery banks you can charge via solar panels. These you can charge on those battery banks and then you are never stuck without light which I think is really important. I hope you guys are doing well. I know that there's some real heat waves in the US right now and maybe other parts of the world. It has been the opposite of a heat wave here. We have had a ton of rain. It's been really humid. My hair has been nothing but frizzy, uh, which, you know, is what it is. I guess I should just leave it curly. So anyways, guys, remember in a world where you can be anything, be kind. I love you and I'll see you next Sunday. The van so you can get some perspective. Nothing showing through there. That's the amount of light that's in here.